Hello everyone again and welcome to the stage 2 of making surrounding area in our project. So in the first tutorial we made a nice glazing facade which I'm gonna use now from glazing I just created a new line a new shape and now I'm deleting the rest which I don't need for my further steps so let's go to outline and create another distance which will work as a surrounding path around the glazing And of course, to start working with an object, we need to put an editable poly modificator. And I'm just showing you again how the outline options and action will actually work and what we can do with it. So I need to bring some more uh, shape and to design my inner space inside of the building area and in front of the building itself. So I start to imagine in general how it will look and I just started from my glass facade creating an outstanding line which we'll use for a walking path and for inside garden which I'm gonna shape right now and this will be our for inside space between buildings and we need just to close the structure and islet and again we need to weld all the vertices what we created from the shape. And as you see, when we put an editable poly over, nothing appears, which means that some of the vertices are not closed, and the whole structure has somewhere gaps between the vertices, and we need to investigate exactly. There is also options for showing as the numbers of the vertices which can allow us to follow the exact numbers and, and to see where is not closed enough so let's try to weld again with bigger number and see everything collapse which means that we need to be more delicate with the distance between the vertex and now we got it and this is the space inside between the buildings which we need to cover now with some different trees and flower tops for example and to bring some street furniture on it I started with a simple rectangle always we need to put some nice detail in our composition not only to create a photorealistic texture and material we need to model 
nice and clean detail and for that reason we need to bear in mind always the tiny things like closed vertexes and broken geometry which will reflect after in our renders when we covered with the materials something's gonna explode and if you are not familiar with the clamp outputs and all the additional options in the render in J which will cover our mistakes what we made previously in general there are always mistakes in our workflow the question will be then in later in our stage of the projects how big are the mistakes we made previously during the different stages and this is the reason why we need to be more precise and to have nice clean geometry and to pay attention on each of the stages there is no one which is more important than the others I would say that each of them are pretty important and no one of them deserves to be disclaimed and to not be work out exactly and precise so let's keep modeling some other elements in our scene and that will be our boxes where we need to put inside our trees So let's just align it a bit to the rest of the geometry and resize it a bit. Also, let's make a copy in the different parts around instance, of course, because we need when we change some of the objects to reflect immediately to the others. And this is the reason we, why we are creating an instance copy of one object um, this is actually the result from our stage 2 by modeling surrounding area so thanks for watching